Hi, I'm Georgia from Circle Evolution, and today I'm going to talk about one of the most powerful uh, ways that you can use the hoop for transformation. Now, I'm trained in a technique called EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, and in my 10 years of doing healing work, I have found this to be one of the most powerful tools to use for the parts of our wiring that are highly unconscious and actually are the hardest things to change consciously. About 88% of our behavior is unconscious and it's formulated uh, by a system that we created up to the age of seven, which is like the wiring of the nervous system, and what we learned how to survive as a tiny kid, which means most of us are still operating on a system that was created by a scared, upset seven-year-old or less. Okay, so EFT I found to be an incredible technique to work on the really intense emotions and the intense aspects of our survival wiring. And those emotions are like fear, terror, fear of abandonment, guilt, and shame. These all have to do with how we survived when we were back in the tribes, back in the caves, okay? We needed those emotions to keep us bonded to the tribe and to fight off predators and that sort of thing. So EFT works with the really heavy stuff. And I'm going to show you the basic protocol really quickly, and then I'm going to show you how uh, you can do it with a hoop instead of using the EFT protocol. And this is, this is where I discovered when I was doing my training for EFT why hooping has such an amazing transformative potential that most people actually don't understand. Okay, so EFT works with hitting points in the body which are connected to acupuncture points which are connected to uh, the nervous system and to the organs and all that stuff that are connected with those emotions that I was talking about. So you don't have to know a lot about EFT, just doing the technique, it's very powerful and it works, okay? So the protocol for EFT, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it with uh, fear about the hoop, okay? So when people start hooping, they often have fear that the hoop is gonna hit them in the face, and they start hooping above their heads, they're like, like this, scared. And the more uncertain you are, the more likely you are to do something a little awkward and potentially hit yourself. So not only is this technique to help you get rid of the fear, but it's also to change your wiring so you're less likely to do the stuff <laughs> that you're afraid of. I mean, it's true when you hoop, you do, you do get hit, but your mind is telling you, if I get hit in the face, it's like life or death, like I'm going to die. That's how the nervous survival system works. It's like, I'm going to die if I get hit in the face. Uh, and it's got all kinds of logic by that, about that. But to start off, you can just do a self-assessment. So you go, okay, on a scale of 0 to 10, how afraid am I of being hit in the face? And so maybe you've got a 6. Okay, so you're 6 out of 10, you have a fear about being hit in the face. So in regular EFT, the protocol is this. And there's lots of videos online where you can study and learn the EFT protocol in more depth. I'm just going to show it to you quickly. So here's the protocol. This is the first point that you hit. It's called the karate chop. And you can do it like this. You can do it like this. You're going to state the stressor that you're working on. So even though... I have a fear about hit, being hit in the face with a hoop. I fully and completely love and accept myself. So whatever you're working on, you just basically go, even though, wah, 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 fill in your stressor there, I fully and completely love and accept myself. So even though I have a terrible fear about being hit in the face while I'm hooping, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have a terrible fear about being hit in the face when I'm hooping, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have a terrible fear about being hit in the face when I'm hooping, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Then you go through the EFT tapping points which uh, while you talk about your stress, and I'm going to show them where you are. The first one is the top of the head. Terrible fear about being hit in the face while I'm hooping. Next one, inner eye right here. Terrible fear. You can use three fingers across that way you get both sides. It doesn't matter what hand you use, which side you use. Uh, you can switch sides, doesn't matter, okay? Just doing it is all that matters. So this is the next point. Terrible fear of being hit in the face. This is the next point here. Terrified of having my nose smashed under the eye. Don't want to be hit in the face, under the nose. Scared of hooping. 
This is the point here. Terrified of pooping. And then the collarbone, which is if you run your finger down underneath the collarbone, it's where it meets the, the breastbone, right there. Terrified of being hit in the face, under the armpit. Terrified of being hit in the face, pooping. And do two rounds through the, uh, these points. So, scared of having my face hit by the hoop. The hoop hitting my face, the hoop hitting my nose, breaking my nose, going to hospital, terrified, scared of hooping, don't want to hoop. Just let yourself feel whatever comes up around that subject, whatever subject you're working with. Then when you've done the two rounds, you take a nice deep breath and you release and you check in again. So now it's say it's gone down to a three and then you might want to feel into what is still the fear around that? So if it's a three, then you go, um, I'll miss work if I've smashed my face. Okay? <laughs> now that's starting to get into the survival. If you miss work, you're going to lose money. If you lose money, oh my God, you can't pay your bills. I can't pay my bills. I'm going to end up on the street homeless and die. That's what our survival nervous system is saying. Now I'm going to show you how to do this with the hoop instead of using all the tapping points. There's another point here, the, the liver point. And actually, your whole body is covered with acupuncture points. So wherever you're hooping on your body, you're hitting something. That's the one great thing about EFT is you just kind of do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just do it, and it works. It's really amazing. So you can use the hoop while you're doing the EFT points. So even though I'm scared that if I get smashed in the face, I'm going to miss work, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm afraid if I get smashed in the face, I'm going to miss work and run out of money and die lonely on the streets, <laughs> I really and completely love and accept myself. <laughs> Even though I'm afraid if I hoop, I'll get smashed in the face and then I'll lose my job because I'll, I won't be, I'll miss days at work. And, you know, you can go into the drama. The mind's very dramatic. You know, and then I'll, I'll lose my apartment and I'll end up on the streets and no one will love me and I'll die there. <laughs> Find it out. Even I feel all of that, I fully and completely love and accept myself. The point is to allow yourself to become aware of what some of your really deep unconscious beliefs actually are. So I'm going to take this off now. So that was the, that's the first part of the protocol is to do the karate chop. Now the beautiful thing with hooping is when you hoop, you actually hit the karate chop all the time. So for example, when you do start hooping over your head, and you're spinning it around your hand like that, you're hitting the point. So you can start doing like this, even though the hoop is above my head and I'm really scared of it hitting my face, I'm going to lose my job and blah, blah, blah. I fully and completely love and accept myself. You can do double hand, slide that second hand in. Even though I'm scared about the hoop hitting my face, me losing my job, my apartment, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though, now do it in the other one if you want, even though, and this is the way you can practice your hooping and do this at the same time, build up some nice little muscles in the arms, turn those lovely arms, even though, <laughs> you got everything going on at once here, even though I'm scared of being hit in the face with the hoop, I'm losing my job because I'm going to miss work, I'm losing my apartment, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Now you can bring the hoop, whoopsie, onto the body. Scared of being hit in the face, scared of losing my job, scared of smashing my face in, scared of losing my job, scared of ending up homeless on the streets, scared of missing work. Now, what's interesting, when you come up and you hoop up here, you're actually naturally hitting all these, these points, the uh, points on the uh, collarbone and under the armpit. So you can just do it like this. Even though, oh, we don't have to do the even though bit for here. I'm scared of losing my job. I'm scared of missing out on work. I'm scared of not being able to pay my bills. I'm scared of hooping. I'm scared of hooping. It could hurt me. It could hurt my life. It could, it could ruin my life. <laughs> and then you can go back to, you do two rounds on the, on the body, even though, oops, you don't have to do the even though bit. <laughs> so I'm getting half from the hooping. <laughs> scared of being hit in the face. I'll miss days at work. I won't be able to pay my bills. I'll get behind. I get really nervous about all this stuff. I'm scared of the hoop. Scared of my life getting messed up, scared of the hoop, scared of change, scared, fear, smash in the face, fear, lose my job, can't pay my bills, homeless and alone on the streets. Okay, so you just let it all come up, no matter how dramatic it is, the more dramatic.